That was, that was pretty strong right there. All up in my face. That huge gust of wind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Dorian's saying, you know, like, like I'm, I'm here, bitch. Like, I'm here. I'm 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 hey, guys. The hurricane is coming. It's not cool. So the hurricane is a category 5 now and it's hitting the Bahamas. I guess it's basically supposed to go up the east coast of Florida but it'll still probably be, at least so far it's showing that it's going to be probably a category 5 or 4. They keep saying it's getting stronger but a category 4, yeah, if the eye is right on the east coast we'll probably still feel a pretty big impact especially if it's a category 4 or 5. We've been preparing, we got extra water, extra snacks, we're filling the freezer up with extra ice to keep it cold longer. And one of the things they said to do on the news is to also turn your, is to turn your freezer and fridge up to the maximum so that it stays cold longer if the power goes out. So two years ago, Hurricane Irma, that was already two years ago. Yeah, that did some damage. Remember, that was a scary, it like tore up the Caribbean as a category four or five. It was supposed to hit, they were saying it was gonna hit Florida as a four or five, but luckily for us, it did go down. I think by the time it was going through Florida, it was a category one, but even a category one, that's why this is crazy because even a category one can still do significant damage, okay? <laughs> and, for us, like by the time it got up to the central area, and I remember it kept um, shifting paths. You know, one minute it was supposed to go up more like the east coast of Florida, then it was supposed to go straight through the whole center of Florida from like the middle, the tip of Florida, all the way straight up through the middle, then the west coast of Florida. And I think it was like going up the west coast of Florida as it got to Florida, so then like Tampa was in danger. Then at the last minute it shifted and then went right through Orlando. It was a category one, so the eye went right over Orlando. Uh, unfortunately for us, that did a pretty decent amount of damage. I mean, we had trees, we had huge tree branches falling into the backyard. Power lines fell down, so, which one of the huge branches that fell, I think fell on the power lines and snapped them off. So we were without power for more than a week. And I mean, a lot of people had power outages all throughout Florida and, but like on our street, like everybody had their power off. And there's some people in Florida that didn't get their power off at all. They still have power, but our street had power off for like, well, everybody on the street had power off like for like a good, probably a good five days. But for us, since we, our power lines broke off because of the tree falling. We had power off for more than a week. So everybody else on the street got their power back on way before us. And we're like still waiting, calling them like, okay, so when are you coming over here? Like fix these power lines, yo. Cause you know, it was hot as hell. Okay, we're talking about like 90 degree temperature with no AC for a week. Okay, no hot water. But yeah, it was like really bad. And then all our food, because of, of the power going out, all our food went bad after a while. We, I mean, we, some of the neighbors helped us, like, let us borrow a cooler and brought us ice and stuff. But it was still, like, we had to throw out so much stuff, so much food that went bad. Meat, everything. So that's just one of the things that really sucks. And when your power goes out for like more than a week and the hurricane before that we had a hurricane matthew which was actually a tropical storm but i lived in a different house at the time and that still did damage for everybody on the street I had power out for three days and i thought that was bad i was like three days but then i'm like hopefully when i was like hopefully hurricane armor won't be as bad but then what happens power out for more than a week and then I like I know that's still not as bad as some of the people like some of the people in the Caribbean that have power out for months. 
So I just can't even imagine, but I don't know. So this is crazy. So we stacked the chairs up. We got the table pushed over here. We put the umbrellas in the shed. So I think with the chairs being stacked up, it's pretty heavy. Hopefully, I don't think that will blow away. Last time we brought the table in the house because we were worried that it might flip over and the glass would break or something or like it might fly into the window or something. But I don't know. I mean, maybe it won't be as bad since the hurricane, at least so far, they're saying it's going to go more up the along the east coast of Florida. But at the same time, it's going to be a cat if it is a category four. I don't know. This thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty lightweight. So we're worried that this might blow away <laughs> if the winds are too strong like this thing is gone this like thing be swaying just a little bit of wind so i don't know all the plants are moved into the middle i don't know hopefully it's still there unless we take it down but this was hard to put together so it, it was very um <laughs> so it's like the thought of having to take this thing apart yo and they have to put it back together again after the hurricane um but yeah i'm just like worried of these trees we got like since last time that's what basically what happened is like there's a huge piece off of this tree so there's like three branches so there's a third piece that was on this side and that snapped off from a category one hurricane last time so i don't know i'm kind of worried about this big tall piece in the middle like look at how tall that is it, i hope that it's not strong enough to break off and this huge tree over here there was a tall piece at the very top that snapped off that's what broke these power lines right here we got these power lines these are the power lines for our power and wi-fi and that's why we were the only ones even when everybody else got their power back on after like five days we still had ours off for like another additional five days because nobody was coming over to fix the damn power lines so we had to keep calling them and calling them like hello and finally somebody came over but it's like so i don't know hopefully that doesn't happen again and the dogs can sense they can sense it coming. They can sense when something's coming. Animals can just sense things. That's why when you see the birds, and the birds are flying around all crazy, the dogs know. That's why the dogs are walking around all nervous. Right, Coda? Yeah, you know that the hurricane is coming, right? You know it's coming? So that's why you're standing there like that with your leg up. You know it's coming. You know what I'm talking about. The hurricane's coming. It's gonna be coming. Whoa. It's probably going to be raining and thundering, right? <gasps> See? He knows. He's like, man, don't say that. Don't say that. You know what's coming. Are you over here nervous? Are you nervous? Are you nervous? <laughs> and we got alcohol. I got a shot of Fireball that I was drinking. And my room's a mess. This is a shot of fireball. We got wine. So what is going on? All right, so it's after 7 p.m. It's Sunday. But it's saying that the hurricane's probably not going to really hit. It's saying the hurricane's not really going to hit over here um, in our area till probably Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at a Category 5 over the Bahamas. This is crazy. And they already got a lot of damage. I saw the footage. With their houses and everything just destroyed. It's just scary. Where are you looking at? <laughs> we got water, extra water. Uh, this is crazy. See, look at the Bahamas. It's the beginning. 
difference will probably be that this is just sitting stationary. It's not even moving at all now. It was only moving at one mile per hour, which isn't much anyway, but now it's sitting stationary and still getting the strongest winds right over Grand Bahama Island. It's been sitting there all day long. It will continue to batter the island as we go through the overnight hours as well, especially with it just sitting stationary. 145 mile per hour winds, gusts even higher, up to 170. This is a monster Category 4 storm. It'll finally start to pick up a little bit of forward speed as we get into tomorrow afternoon, especially. This is the calm before the storm. But you can see it's starting to get a bit windy. It did, um, it's been sunny. Even though the hurricane is getting closer towards Florida, it, like it was sunny and then it got really dark rained, which I think that was a part of some of the winds and rain from the hurricane and then it and then it cleared up and got really sunny it's been that way all day but so it's probably not really gonna pass us till sometime tomorrow so we'll probably be, have like so we'll probably have like a lot of wind it's probably i don't know it might be more of a tropical storm for us but that's if it stays more out in the water so i guess we'll probably see what happens by tomorrow Yo, know, look how long my nails got. These are my real nails. But it's mostly on this hand. This hand. This hand is not, this hand hasn't got that long, but some of the nails recently ripped off. This one just kind of ripped off. It was longer. This one just ripped off. I don't know if it's some vitamins I'm taking or what. It's like storms can be exciting and scary at the same time. Looks like it's getting a little bit windier now, actually. It's eight o'clock Monday, so yeah, we'll probably start feeling something soon. Probably start getting some rain soon. And they're moving kind of faster now, too. Aren't they moving faster now? They're moving faster, I think. That's why I see like the wind is blowing more. Okay, see, look, now it's already even darker. Look at how dark those clouds are getting. And they move in kind of fast. They move in. It's getting darker, yo. It's getting darker. Man, this hurricane is crazy. I mean, category five hurricane sitting there I mean, it's just crazy. It's scary what it did to the Bahamas or what it's still doing because it's still like barely, it's like barely moving though. That's the thing. They're saying that it's barely moving and it's just sitting there, which I don't know, like I, I, it better turn. It, it better make that turn up the East Coast and not go directly over Florida. Okay, it's getting windy. coming in guys it's coming in but yeah it's like it's so scary and you get these like big crazy monster hurricanes and like you know and I'm from New York so I'm not used to dealing with these like crazy disastrous type of hurricanes okay like you know and after you know what happened with Hurricane Katrina like every time when they talking about a really bad hurricane is coming like it's gonna be category four or five and all this stuff and people talk about evacuating that I just start getting scared like I'm not used to all this and then when it does all this crazy damage as a category 5 to the Caribbean you know the hurricane Irma you know went crazy on Puerto Rico and Cuba last time and now this one, a category five tearing up the Bahamas is crazy. It's scary. Like you see all the footage that they got already. And then at the same time, it's supposed to be coming over to Florida and it's like, okay, what are you gonna do? Uh, you see what you did to the Bahamas. I mean, I know the Bahamas is a smaller, smaller islands, but still it's, it's scary. It's so scary. So today is Tuesday and 
the hurricane has still not hit yet, but it's supposed to be getting ready to, they said within the next 24 hours. But we're probably not gonna get much of a hurricane now. So it finally shifted. It sat over the Bahamas for 36 hours as a category five. It sat its big ass on the Bahamas for that long, that's crazy. It finally turned, but now it shifted a little bit more eastward, so since it's further away from Florida, so then that's good. So we won't really get like really bad hurricane effects, but you know, we're still, we still may experience like tropical storm type of weather. So they're saying to still, at least, I mean, we won't, pro we probably won't experience like a really bad storm, but we may still get like a lot of rain and strong winds, which could possibly cause the power to go out still. So we should still pre be prepared in case power goes out. But so far it looks like, you know, whatever happens, it's probably not gonna be like really bad, like really crazy, but. So they're saying that we'll probably get the main effects of it by tonight, so. This is basically within the next 24 hours, so it should probably be done by like tomorrow afternoon, I guess. So I guess we'll see what happens then. Yeah, so right now it's still pretty calm out, but it's completely cloudy today. It was actually a little bit sunny earlier too, but it rained really hard last night. It rained, it did rain really hard a few times earlier today, but it's been really cloudy. So yeah, we'll probably really be getting the stronger winds and rain by tonight and yeah Dorian it went down to a category two so which also makes it better while we won't experience like you know something anything too bad even though that we could still experience the tropical storm type of weather which is really strong winds and rain tropical storm is still no joke though because the tropical storm is no joke because that's what we went through a few years ago with Hurricane Matthew it ended up being a tropical storm by the time it hit us, but it was still pretty scary. Because still, throughout the whole storm, you could hear the strong wind. There was branches, you could hear stuff hitting the roof, and of course, the power went out. We lost power for three days. I guess either way, if they say we're probably gonna get some effects of the hurricane, I just feel like we, it's like we kind of still have to keep our guard up and not just completely be like, okay, I mean, I guess we could relax a little bit because it's like, it seems like it's not going to be like really bad, like, like what it was supposed to be before, but we still got to, like, you just never know what could happen, so. Ooh, it looks like the winds are picking up. It's looking like some of the winds are picking up a bit now. A butterfly can't see it who oh, do you see the butterfly go to look look at the butterfly look at the butterfly <gasps> you see it go to go to look 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 at the butterfly look at the butterfly see it isn't nature beautiful yeah when it stays pretty calm right Right, Coda? What? What did you see? There's some lizards? You got some lizards? There's some lizards over there? <gasps> get them! Get them, Coda! Get them! <gasps> get the lizards! Get the lizards! Get the lizards! <gasps> Be careful! It's the lizards! You see the lizards? <laughs> Alright, be careful. Why is the battery getting low already? So we still gotta make sure we keep everything charged up. So, I mean, I gotta keep my phone charged up, of course. And I'm trying to keep my camera batteries charged up in case I wanna vlog something. <laughs> I was trying to get some videos filmed like last week. Well, one of the reasons I didn't because my face broke out, as you can see. I mean, it's looking better than it was, but this one just will not go away. It's been here for like, shit. It's been like two and a half weeks, this bump. And then I had like this and this. Yeah, so the other ones were way bigger. So my, I felt like my face was hideous. So um, I can't like, 
you know, like I gotta be looking, you know, I gotta be looking cute in my videos and, you know, so I was trying to wait for that to go away, but I don't know why it's taking so long for them to heal. And one of the videos I already was filming, but I just needed to, I needed to finish, but then like stuff was happening in my face and I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully, I don't know, I might not still film them this week if, I don't know, it's just different when you're vlogging because it's like you're vlogging, you're just kind of chilling and showing the real you even though I still don't really like, you know, I don't, still don't really like showing my face on camera when I feel like it looks rough, but <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, we'll see what happens with Hurricane Dorm D Dorian, I was about to say Dorma. That's like what Dorian and Irma mixed together. Okay, well we'll see what happens with Hurricane Dorian. Dorian, you're so late, you're so late to the party. Because we were just hoping like, it's almost like it's a little bit disappointing that there's not going to be much of a hurricane even though well it's like we're relieved but at the same time you kind of feel like you still want something because we spent all this time preparing and we expect it to get something by now like i want it to just come get over with so whatever the outcome is we're already dealing with it and but like i said we could still lose power oh shit oh shit oh shit okay 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 that was, that, was, that was pretty strong right there. All up in my face. That huge gust of wind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Dorian's saying, you know, like, like I'm, I'm here, bitch. Like, I'm here. So, Dorian's about to do a little something, something. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. All right, well, then I guess we'll just see what happens. I'm about to go. Peace. Bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a ooze. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. We the ruler, diamond cooler. This a rolling.